And it is a day of great joy and should be a day of great energy as we come together at the invitation of Brittany and Alex to be here to celebrate, celebrate their love, celebrate their joy. So welcome in their name to each and all of you. To be my husband. I promise to be true to you. At good times and in bad. The richer or poorer. For better or worse. In sickness and in health. In sickness and health. You and All the days of my life. So everyone, please raise your glass to Brittany and Alex. You two have proven that love always wins. Here's to a lifetime of love, happiness, and laughter. It starts with a small spark. That small spark started, I think, the day that Alex saw Brittany walk across the street, creeping through the window writing that poem down. They're both at the university school. He told me about this gorgeous girl, so I definitely know that was when the spark started. The day after that, he told me about her again. And then I had to hear this crazy idea about the corniest poem that I've ever heard in my life. As a sign of my love, and my fidelity, in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, amen. Give a big round of applause to Brittany and Alex, the new Mr. and Mrs. Alexander Waltz. Eventually, in an attempt to spark Brittany's interest, Alex very bravely, in my opinion, decided to write Brittany the cutest poem I've ever heard. <laughs> Little did Alex know that while he put these words together, he was attempting to win the heart of his future wife. Now this might be embarrassing, but can you please do us all the honor of reciting to Brittany the poem that started it all? It was a rainy day just like today, and the roses are red, and so is your hair. I see you sometimes, and it's hard not to stay. I'd love to hang out and get past your shield even if it means switching to the OT field. Just kidding with that, because I'm pretty poor. But maybe I'll see you outside of Leahy's door. So how about this rain? Puts me to sleep. Hope this note doesn't make me look like a huge creep. I am not perfect, I know I'm a sinner, but maybe you'll look past this fact and let me take you to dinner. I'm 25 and in June I graduate. I'm writing this now before it's too late. P.S. One more thing, did it hurt falling from heaven? Please raise your glasses and join me in toasting the new Dr. and Mrs. Alexander Walsh.